A horrific scene tonight. A man is set on fire and left to burn outside a convenience store in Long Beach. I'm Michelle Tuzzi. I'm Mark Brown. Eyewitness News reporter Q McRae is live outside that 7-Eleven in Long Beach with the latest on the man who was set on fire. Q. Uh, Mark, let me start off by giving you a live look at the scene here in Long Beach. You'll notice a hazmat crew. They're about to uh, move out of the way, but they just finished spray washing this parking lot. I had a long conversation with Long Beach PD. They told me that this is a random act of violence. The suspect and victim did not know each other. They say that the victim was simply in his vehicle with the window down when he was attacked. But I also spoke to some witnesses, two of them. They gave me a more detailed account of the crime. An SUV torched, its owner burned, witnesses say, for saying no to this panhandler. Jay Beeler snapped this shot of the suspect and recorded this footage. I went around the corner to the left and you have a um, gentleman who's there with severe burns to his chest. Officers were dispatched to a car on fire right here at the 7-Eleven. Um, that's what they originally thought that they were coming to. Uh, but when they arrived, they found that there was a man who had actually been on fire. According to Long Beach Police, it was a quarter after five this afternoon when the victim pulled up to the 7-Eleven. Witnesses told us this transient asked the 63-year-old driver for change. The driver declined, entered the store, and bought what he came for, then took a seat in his SUV. That's when they say the suspect torched the victim, his SUV, and this Nissan Altima next to him. It's a horrific crime to, uh, to think that somebody's um, um, really no motive, just sitting there minding their own business, and then all of a sudden be lit on fire. Investigators haven't named the suspect yet, but he was arrested nearby. Neighbors know him well. 